Hi, this is Chris Jobling, and this is my personal um, take on the five C's of uh, being your own device for learning. tried a number of ways to uh, to use uh, explain everything which is what I'm using here but I found that it was uh, really quite difficult to uh, to work all the pieces uh, in a short time just to create something quick so I've decided just to sort of uh, demonstrate this by writing and speaking so communicating that's the first thing and it's all about community and Twitter is my main tool of choice for this. Lots of uh, great people in the uh, Bring Your Own Device for Learning community. The facilitators are great. Um, and it's been really, really good uh, connecting with everybody, um, which of course is the main point of Twitter and Google Plus and so on. So I've certainly been connecting with the community and communicating through the uh, uh, Twitter. The other thing I've been doing uh, is curating, and my main curating tool this time has been OneNote, um, which is uh, fine for gathering stuff, but I found it so, so good at, for sharing. Um, there are some limitations there, but it might be useful for uh, gathering uh, student input and so on within a, a classroom. If, if all the students have the account and have access to it. So I've been using that primarily because I wanted to do, use it for teaching next term. But I think perhaps some of the would be probably more suitable uh, for, for, for the general use. And then we've got collaborating. Unfortunately, I missed the tweet chat on this one. And so I wasn't able to collaborate very much on that particular uh, opportunity. Um, but uh, my collaboration tools, uh, Google Drive, Google Plus and so on, are quite useful. And I did manage to share a, a comparison between Google Drive and Office, which you'll find if you look on Twitter for, for me. And then creating. Um, I'm using this tool, which is called Explain Everything, and I think it's got a lot of potential. Uh, it's a bit fiddly to learn how to use it properly. Uh, I've been struggling trying to embed web browsers and things into the into the course, which is theoretically possible, but I've not managed to uh, to achieve it. But it's got some interesting features like this this zoom and pan sort of feature, and, and you can move things around add pictures and so on so I think it's got a lot of potential if you're looking for a whiteboard replacement or something like that um, so anyway this is my creation and um, if you want to find me on the internet my twitter handle is cpjobling and uh, I'll just connect with you soon bye for now